On the campus of Western Hills High School, the GLSCL's All-Star Extravaganza didn't even start with a game. It started with skills evaluation so that Major League Scouts could see the players that the GLSCL had to offer. For us, it is our showcase event of the year. It is where the Great Lakes League puts on its best hat, puts on its best coat, goes out into the dance and says, here we are, we're the best thing we got going out here in the Midwest. The scouts watch players' speed, power, and accuracy in the important facets of baseball, running, throwing, pitching, and hitting. Milwaukee Brewer scout Roger Janeway says how the GLSCL stacks up against other summer leagues. You know, the Cape uh, is basically regarded as the, the top summer league. Uh, but, you know, I think it's a good opportunity for any player, especially a position guy, to be able to swing a good bat. Ed Santa, who fittingly represents the Colorado Rockies, emphasizes the importance of scouting wood bat leagues. No question, yeah. Very important that we see guys with the wood bat. Um, the aluminum bat, just uh, this completely different swing. It becomes a completely different swing. And those couple added ounces, really, you really have to have strength to swing the wood bat. Janeway says scouts may be watching the progress of a player they noticed in high school. Basically some of these players that we've, we've followed since high school and uh, you know in high school tournaments and showcases and whatnot so it's kind of a continuation uh, and then we see some players sometimes that, that we haven't seen and uh, or has improved their skills to that point. Uh, you know a high school kid you you go on projection of what they might be as they get older. And now they're getting to that age, so we're starting to see more finish product. Santa adds that the scouts get a chance to see players outside of their scouting region. Well, we're looking particularly at the guys like, I, I scout in Ohio, Pennsylvania, so I'm looking at those guys, but also, you know, some of these kids from Jacksonville or Alabama or whatever, I, I send reports back to our other scouts and let them know how the kids did today. But let's not forget, there was a game to be played here, and the Southern Ohio Copperheads definitely made themselves known. In a game that had four ties and three lead changes, Wes O'Neill was an early hero for the red team, evening the score at one in the second. Although David Starn struggled, his Copperheads teammates were there to pick the team back up. Zach Botcher stopped the bleeding with a shutout inning, and Seth Strike broke a 5-5 tie in the sixth with a two RBI double. With a slim 8-7 lead in the ninth, Zach Sterling struck out two of the three batters he faced to earn the save. He impressed with his velocity, said to be clocked at 93 miles per hour, and he offers his reaction to that news. Sounds pretty good. It's awesome hearing something like that. Felt pretty good, so. I was just throwing as hard as I could. Although All-Star assistant coach Tim Culver didn't get a complimentary t-shirt, he did get a good showing from his team. These games are all just about fun, just to see the kids hit. Seth Strike did really well for himself today. Um, Wes O'Neill played the whole game, Louie came in there, and then to close off the game uh, we had Zach Sterling throwing the ball pretty well, so good showing for the Copperheads. Here are the stats from the Cheds All-Stars. Reporting for the Copperheads, I'm Maddie Kuhn.